My name is Marston for netgrid.com. Today we're going to be reviewing the A755 SL 5.1 smartphone from GTEL. Let's get into the review. The A755 smartphone is the latest flagship mid-range smartphone from GTEL Zimbabwe. If only they had tweaked a few more specs, then this phone could easily sit on the high-end flagship smartphone pile. Why not? The design of the SO5 phone 1 is elegant to say the least. The golden metal edge around the phone gives the device a premium look. The SL 5.1 is a good device to look at, perhaps because of the slimness. The device is just 5.1 millimeters slim. Not only that, the phone is also very light, weighing a mere 100 grams. Yes, let's talk about that. The weight of the phone is one of those things that are good on paper but something else in real life. When holding the phone, you get a sense of fragility, like it's going to slip out of your hand. Polished metal and coning Gorilla Glass on both sides of the phone are not the best things to hold. And I guess the guys at GTEL felt this also. Hence, they included a silicone case to protect the phone. Enough of the look. Is the GTEL SL 5.1 smartphone a case of beauty without brains? That's a difficult question because you see, on the one hand, the device sports a powerful 1.7 GHz Cortex-A7 chipset. It also sports a measly 1 GB of RAM and 16 GB of internal storage, with no option for an SD card. Did I mention that the phone only comes in 16 GB of internal storage? The Cortex-A7 chipset makes the user experience bearable. The phone can easily handle many applications at once, Using applications like Facebook, Instagram is actually quite enjoyable. Perhaps because of the beautiful 4.8 inch AMOLED panel, which interprets color information very well. Gaming was also not bad initially, but after hours of gaming, the one gigabyte of RAM starts feeling the heat, so to speak. I started getting some lag, but then again, we were pushing this phone to its limits. Something that a regular user won't do. The SL 5.1 sports a 2050mAh battery, which you cannot replace by the way. A full charge gave us almost 24 hours of usage, and this after using the device for browsing on Wi-Fi, playing Clash of Clans, using Facebook, Twitter, and more. With the battery saving mode, the phone can easily go beyond the 24 hour time that we got. The camera on this phone is not bad actually, very good in good lighting conditions. However, step into any dark environment, then you really see how bad the 8 megapixel sensor on this device is. The video camera is capable of shooting in 1080p and it comes with an optical image stabilization mechanism built in. Some of the videos though are a bit contrasty, but the video quality overall is pretty good. The device is running on Android KitKat and the user experience is pretty smooth to say the least. One thing I like about this phone is the ability to change themes and customize the animation effects. The gestures on this phone make this phone quite enjoyable to use. By simply double tapping the screen, you wake up the device. Or by drawing a C on the lock screen, you open the camera directly. The speaker on this device is, uh, is not bad. Let's just find some media to play so that you get to... Even the video playback is actually quite good also. Awesome. 
The Super AMOLED panel gives you those vivid colors. Very vivid colors. It's not oversaturated. You know, you get more realistic colors, which is what I like about this device. Uh, but one thing I do not like about it is that this thing is a, finger, is a fingerprint magnet. Perhaps now you can't see clearly, but it just catches onto fingerprints like crazy. But overall, this is a pretty good device. Now, we ran a test on Antutu, and, uh, and it got a score of 31,360. Now the GTEL A755 SL 5.1 smartphone will set you back $390 and is available in selected GTEL shops and dealerships across Zimbabwe. Our verdict after spending time with this device is a question. Is the GTEL A755 SL 5.1 smartphone the phone you want or the phone you need? You be the judge. Once again, thank you for watching this review and if you like this video, please press the thumbs up button. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. See you in the next video. This is Marston for netquid.com.